Good morning everyone, here on Morica. We've just arrived in the Netherlands yesterday and we've come to... We've come to somewhere we came three years ago we were here. We literally sat there and it was one of our favourite places we came. We're both currently so happy we're here because we love it. We've just rented bikes, we cycled down here and we're just going to get some breakfast for our first little morning. So our food's just arrived and I went for the veggie all day. So it's got like pancakes, halloumi, scrambled egg, hash brown. And then my boyfriend got the chicken and waffles, which is what he had years ago when we came. And that's what we've been thinking about ever since. But it's like, like fried chicken and waffles and everything. And we just got lattes as well, but it's so tasty. And it's so nice in here as well. We've just cycled into town because I want to go to the bike on us. But I think we're going to do some shopping first because I really like shopping in the country, basically. We're just walking to H&M now. We just parked our bikes. It's got so cold here, honestly. I'm like freezing. I'm going to have to buy more like gloves and hats and scarves. So I'm so cold cycling around. This is where we're walking now. It's like really central Amsterdam. But it's really cute. We're just going to go to H&M. We are just in the bike on us, which is like the Dutch Selfridges kind of thing. We're just looking around. But it's so Christmassy here. And there's like a cafe on the top floor, so we're gonna go for a little coffee again, just chill. And then we've got like the Anne Frank Museum at four, so we're gonna head over there afterwards and then go up to dinner later. And then it's the Netherlands and Argentina match, so we're gonna watch them. In the bike order for the top, there's like this like canteen, cafeteria area, and then round there, there's loads and loads of food like options and then we just got some coffees because we're going out for dinner so we just thought we'd relax until we have to go to the Anne Frank Museum. We've just come out of the Anne Frank Museum and I would really really recommend if you're here to go because it's literally the place where they lit well they hid out it's not where they lived originally but it's the place where they hid out and you walk through all the rooms and like through the bookshelf and everything and you've got like an audio tour and it's really interesting and now I really want to read her diary so I think I'm going to go home and order it but we're just walking back to get our bikes now and then we're going to cycle back home and then we're going out for dinner so that'll be really nice but look how like festive it all looks here like there's all the Christmas slides it just looks really nice I've never been here at Christmas and it's a really nice like time to come in a little coffee shop and had coffee and I had a mint tea it was just so cold outside so warmed up here and then I think we're going to have some herring from the market we get some kibling and it's so long I'm so excited to it's my favourite one of my like, favourite Dutch girls and then we're going to do some vintage things that I'm so excited to do it I always forget how good this is. The markets were really lovely. Tried Kivling again, which I haven't had in literally so long. It's one of my favourite foods to eat. And now we are just walking to a vintage shop that's nearby because I wanted to do some vintage shopping while I was here, and this one was recommended, so I thought we might as well go while we're here. I bought these gloves at the fish shop yesterday and they're keeping my hands so warm especially when we are cycling because it is unbelievably cold here it's literally like zero degrees and it's so cold we've got so many layers on um but yeah we're just gonna go to the vintage shop i think we're just gonna just like walk around a little bit and just we just love it here so we're just like going on in coffee shops and stuff like that and then it's the England versus France match tonight so me and my boyfriend are gonna go into like a bar or a pub that are showing it and watch it so yeah that's the plan for now the streets here are literally like from a postcard though like I mean it's so foggy at the moment it's crazy but obviously all the canals are there 
and just cycling around is so lovely. So this is Zipper Vintage and I just tried on, I just tried on these two jumpers but I didn't really like the fit of them so I'm not going to get them but they're really cute and there's really nice stuff here. It's quite a good price for like a vintage shop. So I was going to say what, that one we were in was called Rumours and this one is Zipper Vintage. This one's really cool actually. This one's better than the other one I would say. It has like a nice selection of stuff and like different stuff. So if you come to the Hoxton um, Hotel, there's like a cafe down there and there's like a photo booth. So we just took a few cute like vintage photos and it's just cute for But it's a nice spot to come and it was quite busy. We waited for a little bit but it's nice and it's like four euros for four photos. They're all like vintage and cute. So it's the next day and we have just like had a little wander around the park in Dubai and then there's this cafe called Brister Stacks that I've been, I've heard everywhere, I've heard so many good recommendations from and we tried to book it yesterday but we couldn't so we came just like on a whip and it's actually only walking so let me show you the food that we got. So I got like the cinnamon pancake stack and we're actually going to share this and then we got the Texan barbecue like pancakes as well and everything's vegan and they got orange juice and everything. So nice. We're just walking towards like where the like Reichs Museum is and everything because I think we want to go to the Stalock Museum. Look how pretty this view is. So we have ice skating going on and oh, slash. This is like the square where like all the museums are. So there's the Reichs one over there. There's the Moko Museum. We're going to go head to the Stalock one, but there's also the Van Gogh Museum here too. But it's a really good place to come if you're looking for like some Dutch history. I honestly love a gift shop. I think they're better than the actual museum sometimes. The Stalin Museum gift shop is for me. Come to the Tulip Museum, but in the Tulip Museum there's like a really cool gift centre. And I think I'm gonna get this for my little Christmas present for my boyfriend, like one of them, which is the Amorous Aphrodite. I don't know, it's the one in the middle there. But it's really pretty, and then you can grow them in like propagation pots like that. So it's kind of like flowers that stay alive, but like you can seal the roots there, and I think it's really cool. So these are really fun. It's like a really sweet little gift shop, actually. We've come to Ted's and we were here last time we were here. It was really good. So I got the vegan French toast and then some waffle fries because I wanted some savoury. And then my boyfriend got the pretty cheesesteak because it's in like the west part of Amsterdam and outside I'll show you when we leave but it looks really like old New York vibes. It's a really nice place though. It's really well priced and everything. Just finished breakfast and I thought I would show you what I meant by like it looking like New York kind of. Because obviously New York used to be called New Amsterdam and then like the west side of Amsterdam looks like old New York which is quite funny but this is what like the west of Amsterdam looks like that's where Ted's is just there there's like a queue outside now because it's really popular but it's a really just pretty day and yeah I love it. We're leaving this evening so we've got a full day here I think we're gonna cycle to the sex museum because why not and then walk through the red light district just to see and then there's a market on and a pipe, so we're going to go there too. <laughs> we cycled to the pipe to go to the um, market here, and there's a kilo store here as well. And I've just seen this jumper, so I think I'm going to get this jumper. It's cute, it's like a Lacoste oversized, and I think I'll stretch out the bottom so it fits nice. Not the best one I've had. <laughs> 